Introducing BPL DF2617. Welcome to the guide for unpacking and operating the BPL DF2617. Unpacking. Keep the carton box upright. Remove the packing tape and open the flaps to access the accessories carton box. Lift the unit and remove the polythene cover. Check for any dents, scratches or other mechanical damages. If evident, please notify to BPL or the service team. The standard accessories provided with the machine include user manual, cardiac jelly, ECG paper roll, disposable electrode, disposable AED electrode, external paddle, ECG patient cable 3 lead, earthing cable and a power cord. Safety information. Do read the user manual completely before operating the machine and use original accessories supplied by the manufacturer. Device overview. DF2617 is a lightweight portable device that incorporates an ECG monitor and a biphasic with an optional AD. It is equipped with external paddles suitable for adult and pediatric use. The user can select the energy values from 2 to 300 in non-AD mode. The device also offers an optional feature of built-in thermal recorder. At the top panel, there is a 5.7 inch LCD screen. Panel description, front panel operating controls, on off key, energy select, charge key, sync key, HR alarm, lead select, ECG size, QRS volume, record, mark, review, AD key, analyze key, shock, then there is a printer at the left hand side. At the bottom panel, there is a battery compartment, a heat emission hole, battery installation. Remove the two screws retaining the battery compartment and lift the battery lid. Align the polarized plug with the connector inside the compartment and push the plug fully into the connector until it gets locked. Route the battery cable properly so that it is free and will not get jammed between the battery lid and the case. Replace the battery lid and secure the two screws tightly. Keep the equipment upright. At both the sides, there is a quick reference guide label attached for the reference of the user. Loading thermal paper. Push the lever fully by pressing on the mark to open the door. Insert the paper below the roller with the grid facing down. Make sure the paper extends about 25 mm above the roller. Align the paper with the provided guides. Push the lever back at the left hand to prepare for operation. Close the printer door securely. Paddle Connection Guide Switching to Pediatric Paddles To use the pediatric paddle on the standard external paddle, slide the adult paddle forward after pressing the latch on the top. Once the adult paddle extends fully, it reveals the pediatric surface. Remember to return the adult paddle after use. Connecting defibrillator paddles Insert paddles into the holder on the defibrillator unit. Align and insert the plug into the output socket at the unit's front bottom panel. Connecting the disposable AED electrode. Slide the connector shutter to access the AED connector. Insert the disposable electrode connector into the holders on the defibrillator unit. The connector should lock into the socket connector on the unit. To remove the plug, hold and press the latch on the plug and pull back. Connecting ECG patient cable. Connect the ECG patient cable plug into the ECG input connector on the front panel. Push the ECG patient cable plug into the ECG input connector. To operate defibrillator with external paddle, preparing paddles and turning on. Remove the paddles from the holder by sliding them backwards and up. Apply electrolyte paste to both the paddle surfaces. Press 
the on off key to switch on the unit. Energy selection. Press the energy select key to select the desired energy level from the menu. Place the sternum paddle near the upper sternum and the apex paddle on the chest just below and to the left of the patient's left nipple. Charge. Press the charge key on the front panel keypad or on the apex paddle. Starts charging and increasing energy available is displayed on the screen. The device can charge to 300 Joule in less than 10 seconds when used with a fully charged new battery following 15 discharge. Now to change or reset the selected energy level, press the energy select key twice. Will disarm internally and a message DF disarm will appear on the screen. Now select the new energy level and press charge. To print all events, press the key 10 seconds after the last event has occurred. Performing Defibrillation in AED Mode Switch on the AED by pressing the AED on off key. The user is guided step by step with the aid of display message and voice command. Visual indication in the form of LEDs are also provided on the front panel of the device. These LEDs light up at different stages of the AED process. If external paddle is still connected and AED is switched on, a warning message will display on the screen as shown. Connect AED electrode. Stage 1. Turn on the AED. Press the AED on off key. The green LED inside this key will glow and the AED process will start. Initial messages and voice command will appear. Now the user is prompt to stick the electrode to the patient's chest. To stick the electrode to the patient's chest, tear open the electrode packaging and stick the electrode as per the electrode positions illustrated on the device and the electrode packaging. Insert the disposable electrode connector into the socket on the device. Placement of the electrode is very important for correct operation of this device. Always place the electrode in the positions indicated. Stage 2 Analyze Now the device will start analyzing the ECG. Orange LED inside the analyze key will be blinking. Typically, the time for analysis is less than 10 seconds. Wait or display voice message to guide you through the AED process. Stage 3 Shock The AED analysis will determine the necessity of a shock and advise the user to apply the shock. The AED will charge to set the energy level. The red LED inside this key will be flashing. The shock key continuously blinks to draw the attention of the user. Before pressing the shock key, ensure that no person is in contact with the patient or any material in contact with the patient. The user should now press the shock key to deliver the shock. Stage 4 CPR stage The DF2617 AD moves to the CPR stage. During this stage, the CPR cycle will start. Default setting is for 5 cycles. Here, the user is prompt to administer 30 chest compressions followed by 2 ventilations. To display the main menu, press both the review and the sync key while switching on the defibrillator. A main menu display with various options appear. Main menu, setup menu 2, AD setup, post defibrillator use, turn off the unit using the on off key, store the defibrillator, connect the AC mains power and ensure the battery charging LED is on. Lastly, always follow recommendations and safety protocols for accurate and reliable VFib recording. This concludes the process of unpacking and operating the DF2617.